Thank you for being with us on this journey at the Human Design Rave Festival 2024. Welcome, welcome. I am Peter Berth. I'm a manifesting generator. And I'm also a certified analyst since 2016 and have been doing a lot of readings <laughs> uh, over that time. And over that time, I've, I've seen a lot of things and that's what I'm excited to share with you. Some of the nuances that I've seen about manifesting generators. So anyway, this is me, 3-5 profile, sacral authority, single definition, sleeping phoenix, three parts right. Human design is mechanical knowledge. The deeper I get into studying design, it's very obvious to me that that this is this is logical mechanical knowledge and the more that we understand the mechanics the more we really learn to speak the language keynoting language of, of human design everything reveals itself to us it, it it's less open to interpretation and you know the way some of these you know, when you just follow them the mechanics you get the you get the answers. When you follow the logic, you get the answers. So we're going to look at a lot of things about what a manifesting generator is and all the variations of manifesting generators. So let's start by just clarifying some of the mechanical definitions here. What are the mechanics of generating? When we talk about generating we are specifically talking about the sacral center. Anyone with a sacral center defined is a generator. So what are you generating? And I'm also asking this question in the context of what's the difference between generating and manifesting? Okay, because I think when we really are presented with giving these practical definitions, it's going to clarify some things. Because in the out in the world, I think some of those terms get a little blurred. Everyone wants to manifest, but maybe you're not here to manifest. Maybe you're here to generate. And maybe that's maybe that's what you meant anyway. Maybe that's what you wanted anyway. Not wanted, but maybe that's your purpose and your definition anyway. So Let's just look at the sacral center. What are we generating in the sacral center? The sacral center indicates, according to your definition, what you have the available energy for. That's what you're going to have the energy to generate. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to do a whole uh, a whole breakdown on the on the sacral center, but you know, we can just look at what's here. We can look at these pathways, the, these, there's not necessarily, we, call, we don't necessarily call them streams here, but there's, there's pathways, you know, um, all the format channels, the, the energy basically to start something coming from the root center, all, all this stuff here, all the, all the pressure to start something new, to bring something new into the world, the energy for intimacy, energy to care for others or energy for mating uh, this this tantric pathway to the g center the energy to know thyself the self to, to direct the energy to raise up to ourself or or through the integration pathway to to to, to self-empower and then we can you can just keep breaking down the channels not breaking down but uh defining the specifics of all these channels you know, uh 
you, you're generating the energy to care for others. You're generating the energy to ha- start a, and discover and persevere through a new experience, so on and so forth with all of this. So, so when, you, when you're asking yourself, what does it mean for me if you're just a pure generator or even if you're a manifesting generator, what's your definition there? You know, what are you generating into this world? Generating is, you know, it's, I like to kind of, to think of some metaphors, you know, this is, this correlates with our reproductive center, our reproductive organs. So, you know, generating life, this is the life force, but it's different than manifesting. The, this is like conception, you know, it's, or, or if you think about it, like our vehicle, this is, this is the main motor. You can turn the, you can turn the motor on, you can get the motor humming. The motor is going to be humming when it's on the right road, the right channel. And, and that informs us as well. What, what are the mechanics of frustration and satisfaction? These primary signs of resistance or the signature of generator life. The sacral center wants to commit its energy to what it's here to do. And that is really what satisfaction is. When you're doing what you're here to do, when you're aligned with your true nature, it's satisfaction. So satisfaction isn't necessarily about happy happiness. I mean, it's, that's part of it that comes with it. But we're looking at the mechanics here. When you're doing, when you're aligned with your true nature, you're going to feel your motor can hum. You can drive on that road. You're you're regenerating, and that feels good. That feels correct. So it's, it, but that doesn't mean it's happiness because caring for others can be intense. Intimacy can be intense. Uh, you know, it's, there's a full spectrum with all of it. So when you, your motor is humming and you're doing what's aligned with your nature, you feel a sense of satisfaction or alignment. And, and we feel that all in our own way, whatever your type is. Frustration is when, is, is the, the keynote uh, of resistance here, of the not self. When the not self hijacks the sacral and says, oh, you definitely have the energy for something that's not in your definition. So go push yourself and do it. And, and that's going to use, you're going to be using your energy to go against yourself. You become a slave to yourself. The not self is just the mind thinking it knows. So we become slaves to our mind and dragging your vehicle down the wrong road feels frustrating so it's not flowing going against the flow feels frustrating what are the mechanics of manifesting very specifically mechanically speaking in human design manifesting means a motor one of the four motors, sacral, root, solar plexus, heart, to direct wiring to the throat or a wiring connected to the throat. That is manifestation. When you have the ajna to the throat, when you have the splenic center to the throat, we don't call that manifestation. It's powerful. But it doesn't have that power, (laughs) that mutative impact. Now, there's a lot of other definitions and descriptions of manifestation, like I did with the the sacral and, and loosely looking over the gates and channels of the sacral. We could do the same with the three manifesting channels. 
transitoriness, openness, money. These, these are the three manifesting channels. But this, this conversation is a little wider because there's lots of ways to manifest. In other words, lots of pathways. It's, those aren't the only pathways. Ra Uruhu was a manifester with none of those pathways defined. We all have everything, but defined or not. So, um, so a motor to the throat. This is, and, and you feel it. You feel that mutative impact of the willpower. You feel the force of the will out in the world. You feel the force of the emotional field. It's the, the biggest field. Uh, it's the authority of the planet. You know, the, uh, the uh, solar plexus, the emotional center, has, puts out the biggest frequency. The, the adrenalized pathway to the throat is, you don't, well, we do have splenic manifestors, of course, and splenic manifesting, or um, we have manifesting generators with this pathway too. When you feel that root to the throat, we need that filter. We need that filter of the, the awareness center here because a direct pathway from the root center to the throat would chop someone's head off. It's too powerful. To, it's, it would be like a locomotive just running you over. And, and then we have the sacral, which is what's unique to this specific talk about manifesting generators, the sacral to the throat. And that's primarily what we talk about. Well, that's coming up next. 3420. It's mostly what we talk about is, is manifesting generators. So anyway, I'll get to that. What are the mechanics of anger and peace? It's specifically related to the motor to the throat. When, uh, well, this is a, a motors are powerful. They're in constant motion. You don't stick your finger or your hand into a motor. You're going to get your, your finger chopped off metaphorically speaking. So that's, that's why there's anger. Because this is a force that is not meant to be disturbed. <laughs> and, and, that's, and that's why this not self description of resistance here has a little variation when we talk about manifestors. Because anger or some people like to call it sacred rage or you know it's it's powerful it's a force saying you can't stop this motor you can't stop my willpower or my emotions or my adrenaline or my life force and when you suppress that this is what you're going to get so Anger is a force going, don't tell me what to do. Don't, don't suppress my motor. And, and then the, and the specifics that come with the, the channel and, and the very, very, very specific definition in your life. And when it gets out freely, uninterrupted, and is able to create that mutative impact when operating correctly, when entered into correctly, we, we get peace. So, so these are, there's so many other qualities here, but when we're talking about kind of the, what we can share between manifestors or manifesting generators, mute, mute, mutation, impact, you feel it. That's what makes manifesting so powerful. When it comes out of the throat, you feel it. The throat is the center of metamorphic, metamorphosis from the inside to the outside. 
that's the difference between what's generating. Generating is still doing, it's doing, but the manifestation is it's getting out through this specific pathway and energetically you feel it. It lands in the world and, and others feel it around you. And it, it changes everything because it takes form somehow. That's, that's the mutation. It brings something out into the world. It, it manifests in a way, energetically or concrete, literally. Specific qualities or mechanics to manifesting generators as they've been traditionally taught is you know efficiency and, and that's and that's really referring to the sacral to the throat because especially not that we don't not that a manifesting generator and all the other variations doesn't value efficiency because because that motor wants to get out that motor energy wants to get out <laughs> and so if it has to go on this long and windy path road we all have to go around and introduce ourselves and say your name and where you come from you just your cells start to get irritated <laughs> um so you know we all value efficiency as manifesting generators we want to get that energy out however the quickest pathway is um, and and our power only comes through response because a generator is a generator is a generator a manifesting generator is the same aura type as a pure generator it all has to do with the power of the yin vortex of the sacral center and that's how we know ourselves we're still generators so we still have to we're here to know who am i who am i for myself and 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 we can only know that through response not the mind and in manifesting generator shares a, a variation of these signs of resistance not self theme of frustration and anger and again anger can be correct can be healthy don't interrupt my life force process here um but as a generator primarily frustration is what you're going to see as a sign of resistance the sacral voice says three things yes no I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Or whatever your version of those sacral sounds are. The classic 3420 has a wiring which allows you to articulate. So even though you're still here to respond as your strategy, your response, it can be sounds. You still have a motor. Motors hum. I'm a hummer. <laughs> I like I, I make lots of humming noises when I'm satisfied. But manifesting generators also need to pay attention to the sound, the words, excuse me, the specific words that come out of your mouth in the moment. Because you have a direct wiring from your sacral motor to your throat you pay attention to your words it's not just the sounds so you know uh hey bob do you want to go to the family gathering this year mm -mm, hey, no way i don't want to see uncle billy okay well that's really clear no uncle we're not going to see uncle billy this year all right so um manifesting generators they can they can be fast. The thirty four twenty can be fast. It can skip steps, and this is really where we value efficiency because we want to get this. There's no filter here. This is a direct pathway. 
So again, just covering some some different different qualities between generator and manifesting generator. And and that a lot of the information out there about manifesting generators is specifically referring to 3420 manifesting generators. So this is why I'm giving this talk because there's not a lot of there's plenty of you who are have these other pathways and may feel like I don't relate to that. I don't relate to, I don't always relate to all these, maybe, maybe some of these qualities. Uh, also, yeah, just is, is the sacral connected to the throat? This is just, I guess I kind of covered this in that last slide, but <laughs> um, when we look at these variations, this is almost how you can think of you know, I have this picture of Neo from the Matrix with a, a mouth, his mouth is, is closed shut. That's kind of like what being a generator without a pathway to the throat is like, because there is no, con there is no connection to articulate. You just have to hear the voice box from within. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm. It's, it's all inside you there. So um, another thing to consider with what type of manifesting generator are you? Do you have this sort of configuration where even if it's just connect, you know, is it just not connected to the throat directly all the way? Because you can have, you can basically be a generator with like in this example, this I would call this a generator with emotional manifesting potential. So, I mean, this really gets into the heart of how deep these variations can go. In other words, what's your type? What's your authority? And what's your motor to the throat? It's essentially what this, it's essentially what this class comes down to. What's your type? What's your authority? And what's your motor to the throat in, in, in your definition? And do you, What's your uniqueness? And do you recognize the quantum of how they all play out together? So we can keep going with that and have fun with that. I'm awesome. And bye for now. Take care. Thank you for being with us on this journey at the Human Design Rave Festival 2024.